you know, what we're doing up here, it's, it's show business, but when you're a touring band, you don't have a lot of the infrastructure of like big shows, you know, like I grew up watching, um, you know, like I had it, you know, watching like uh, videos of Michael Jackson's shows and stuff like that, you know, they'd be like, he'd be, they would like launch him out of a rocket onto the, and then he'd land on the stage, you know, and then like, Fireworks would go up, and there'd be smoke everywhere, you know, and then when you get to the real emotional moment, you know, and then it'd be just a spotlight on him. You know, it was just like, man, nobody has the budget for that. <laughs> and, and, and you, you know, so when we're, we're going around, like, it's nice to have some, we're like, we're, we're, we're getting closer to Michael Jackson. <laughs> show business. came here um, in the 1800s that came to Canada. The first garden here was a missionary, and he went up north. He was the first white person in a lot of communities, and I feel really weird about that, considering the ensuing cultural problems that have been existing here with, uh, well, let's just say, Europeans. So I wanted to write a song about, with a fictional character in it, and his name is Johnny, and he's the kind of guy who just loves adventure, but, you know, he loves to find new lands to discover. There's always something over the next horizon. But you know what I find about that? Especially as I become more committed to my family and my community and the place I live. There's something really irresponsible about that. And I, and I, so I'm trying to see that in our world now we have the Standing Rock protest in Dakota. The people are protecting the land that they've been on for thousands and thousands of years, right? And it may seem like another great adventure to go and make a million bucks and all the great oil that's in this continent. And that's what it's always been. Is it logging, is it mining, or whatever. Or even in Vancouver, it's real, it's condos, you know. But I wanted to show that there's something really ambivalent about that, like there's something really weird about that. Because, um, it's like you really, really want that thing, but as soon as it's used up, you kind of just want something else. And we're gonna keep going that way until until something changes. Well, 
Johnny met a black haired girl named Mary Bessie. Held her precious eyes of pearl and made their baby came. She made his bed with feathers that were soft beneath his head. She never loved another man, at least that's what she said. Yeah. 